earlier I asked you about the do's and the don'ts if I want to get in the resale business. Mm. Because I'm, I'm, I really want to bring the business yeah. of, of sneakers to the table. Um, you said first, Sean, you got to know what's hot out there. So me, who is not necessarily as attached to the culture, when I think of what's hot, obviously I'm going to think of the Travis Scott's, I'm going to think of Jordan, I'm going to think of the KD's, I'm, I'm going to think of people who I know, right? Yeah, yeah. What about some of the, some of the brands we don't hear about as much? Uh, are, are New Balance considered hot? Or, some, or some, some Reebok, of them are. Do, do, Does Reebok some of them. Have market share? Does uh, ponies, Converse, like where do they fit into the landscape of this this booming industry? Well, New Balance is doing really well. I wouldn't say resale market is booming, but they're doing very, very well as far as sales. And they're putting out a lot of great products. There's a few releases during the year you'll, you'll probably be able to flip. Um, Adidas, of course, you got Kanye West, that's gonna bring in money. They also signed Bad Bunny. You know, Bad Bunny's a big dog in the game. So Bad Bunny puts out a sneaker, it's gone like that. Dan will snap. So people like those guys, you know, you know, you got to jump onto it. Like those guys, there's there's quick money to be made. And a lot of people are reselling too, which is funny that that aren't even into sneakers that are doctors. I, I know doctors and lawyers that are reselling sneakers now. They they just go for they know the hype release. You said it, Travis Scott. So they got all the apps. They try to buy it. And then as soon as they buy it, they resell. It's so easy to resell sneakers now. They got apps now like that you could just send the shoe right to the business and they pay you right then and there. You don't even have to find the customer. Like, it's just that. Okay, simple. so let's talk about that for a second. Uh, you know, StockX mm -hmm. changed the game. For Fast. anybody who is not familiar with StockX, Educate us. What is StockX and how did this uh, stock exchange, if you will, yes. sneakers completely change the game? Well, StockX basically changed the game where it was so simple for people to resell shoes, where you basically, if you want the shoe, you get the sneaker. You Like I was able to hit on these right here. It's a pretty uh, sought after shoe. A red man actually wore these during that red man method man battle. Um, that versus one um, sold out instantly. So if I wanted to sell these, all I have to do is go on the app size nine. They send me a label, put it in the box, mail it to them. They inspect it, make sure it's legit. And then they just cut, they send it to my PayPal and I get paid just like that. So it's really convenient. And it's easy for anyone because they literally mail you the label. You just print it out. Bong. As long as you're happy with what they're going to pay you, then you're good money. Plus, you can go and you can buy the shoes there on the app. So it, it's really simple. But with StockX, what's so powerful about StockX is they kind of are almost like the godfathers or the gatekeepers to other resellers of what the sneaker's worth. Because, look, let's say me and you were hanging out and you're like, yo, Dells, I need these. I need these um, Jordan 6s. I got to get them, bro. Let me get them. And I said, all right. Just give me what StockX wants, and and I'll, and and I'll work I'll work with you with it. So a lot of people are doing that all day. They're going to StockX as the gatekeepers, the ones that you know the the price point of what the shoe is worth now. So StockX is a big deal, not only for just their business, but a, a lot of people go back to them for a reference of what the actual price point on the resale tip is for the shoes. Let, let me try to put this in my words because I want to make sure I understand this business model. Uh, StockX, can we equate, because it, it felt like the, the, the sneaker resale market, uh, it was the wild, wild west. Uh, I know once upon a time you can go on eBay, but they'd have somebody selling a pair of shoes for $600 over here, and they'd have somebody else selling those same pair of shoes for $1,200. Yeah. It, it, it's and correct me if I'm wrong. It almost feels like StockX is what Nasdaq is to to corporations 
uh, really regulating the value of what a, a, a business entity, their stock is trading at on a daily basis. That is what StockX is for sneakers. Did I get that correct? So now- Yeah, to, to an extent. I mean, the, the whole thing with StockX, the, one of the guys that runs StockX, I think he just recently left the company. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so don't don't quote me on that. But he he would he had this site, it was called Campless. And what he was doing was just, he was doing basically the stocks of the shoes, how how much the sneakers worth through ga- gathering information on eBay. And, and that's how it first started. And then he had investors come in and they teamed up and they put out this StockX thing. Um, but it started from him just gathering information on how much these shoes were actually being sold for and then coming up with with an idea number of what each shoe was worth. You, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, um, so, so is the StockX value of a sneaker now considered the holy... Like, if, if Yeah, I, that's the go-to. That's what I was saying. They're like the gatekeepers of what a lot of people go to as far as what the price point is on the resale market, on the secondhand market. A lot of people will go to that just to even see what the what the um, price point is on the resale market. I know I do. Like, like I want to know what it is. If, if I'm going to get rid of a shoe, I'm going to see. You know, I have a Jordan 11 here. I'm going to go over there and see, oh, well, how much is this going for? Type it in, see what it's worth, size nine, boom. You know, okay, so I'll sell it to you for this. Because they're going to go to StockX. The one that's going to buy the shoe off me if I decide to sell it, they're going to go to StockX and see how much they could buy it there for, right? Everyone's going to go check StockX. StockX is a household name at this point. I would mm-hmm. say so. I mean, if you know about StockX and you're not into sneakers like that. Correct. Right? Yeah. I mean, I was I, I was completely blown away that there is a, a regulated trading entity that is now dictating how, or at least giving a guide on, on the market value mm-hmm. of a sneaker. I, I, you know, I, it's brilliant. Um, it is. <clears throat> and, there's, and, and just to add on to that, there's eBay is actually doing something like that now too. They've actually switched around their whole sneaker marketing thing. So with, where they have people actually inspecting the shoes to make sure they're legit too. And, and doing a lot of the same stuff StockX is doing. And then there's other, there's a bunch of other sites. There's GOAT that does it also, which I, I prefer GOAT, to be honest with you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.